we need to start figuring out the difference between being fearful and being wise. Because when you start paying attention to what's happening, wisdom comes, which is the experience of the greater knowing into the wonderful intellect to figure out what's the next creative great thing. What's the next wonderful thing that you can do to fully reveal yourself or to engage in a situation so more life happens in the group because you and the people who are there are really interested in that. There is a necessity to be lustful about that. To be lustful about the release of love in your life so that life might be more abundant. Lust has gotten a bad name because we have been lusting after things that we want, not lusting after the spirit, not lusting after the spirit of love that is our animating natural state. Lust is not this kind of sanctuary. Lust is this kind of sanctuary. Tried and true and revealing as much love as I possibly can while living this life now and the rest that I've got. And I invite us to be the radiant beings we are, but we ha I am encouraging us to let in the radiant beings we're with as well. We can let out our radiance and be the, this vibrant representation of life moving through Jane Anatrini's body or your body or your emotional capacity or your thinking. But I want to be willing to be changed by life moving through my friends. Not changed into another kind of person, but changed so that I'm bigger and better and, and more myself instead of um, constantly changing to make the people around me happy. I have, I have a tendency to do that be different with different people. Some of that is wisdom, and some of it is fear. Fear that if I'm actually myself with this group of people, something strange will happen, or I might not feel like I belong there. And if I let my other part out with this group of people, they will wonder how we ever became friends in the first place. <laughs> I've had that experience of feeling awkward, but there is a greater power than feeling awkward, and that is the current moving through me that says, love anyway, love in a real way, love in a way that um, you don't have to think back, now how am I supposed to be with this particular group? How should I shift and play so that people not only feel comfortable, but still like me? You would think at my age I'd get over it, but there's something in the human heart that wants to know love. And so we end up shifting ourselves around so that we feel loved even if we're not being ourselves. It's a bad, bad game, I can tell you, and nobody wins. To the privilege of knowing that as a, a human being, we can spend the rest of our lives being passionate while being alive. And that doesn't mean being raucous. It doesn't mean any particular form. There's wisdom, blessing, and power that can come through us in a way that's in our control with mastery. Silence and stillness is one part of the sanctuary. But there is a voice that needs to be spoken. There is a wind that needs to blow. There's a song that needs to be sung. There's a hug that needs to be given and received. There's a tear that needs to be shed. There's a smile that needs to be shared. There's tenderness that needs to grow. This is a sign of a true human character. And I am so thrilled to be about it with you. <laughs>